Hey friends, so today I'm gonna to be doing my four month postpartum update. Liam just turned four months. It's crazy because I feel like he's growing so fast. Um, I actually just filmed a video with Liam. I did his two and three month baby update. And so I'm just gonna talk about some random stuff that I've been experiencing during my four months. So the most obvious would be my hair loss. Uh, like I have it on both parts. So no matter how I part my hair, the hair loss shows, but it, it just doesn't bother me. I really don't care. Like it's gonna grow back. Um, my Aunt Carrie, she's a doctor and I asked her about my hair loss and she says it's normal. Um, you know after pregnancy so I'm not worried about that at all I am still taking prenatal pills I stopped for a while but I definitely started taking it because my aunt Carrie told me that I should um, because you know I need to since I'm nursing so I'm also um, taking my old prenatal pills and I also ordered some honest ones as well and the Omega um, pills as well um, for nursing I've been nursing pretty well and I feel like my milk supply has been pretty great except for when we started traveling like we flew to idaho and then we flew to minnesota i felt like that week um my milk supply just started dwindling down and i got really worried so i called my doctor we had an appointment for liam and then i also called my lactation specialist and she made me do a four hour test where every hour i pump and i measure how much milk i make and then i called my lactation specialist and told her like the four hour amount but she hasn't called me back yet so i'm still waiting on the news to see if i'm making enough for liam at four months or if i'm not um but my doctor suggested in the meantime that i supplement so i gave liam a bottle of formula and um uh, the day after that my milk supply increased because i felt like even that one skipped amount of milk that i didn't give him through me through the formula helped me increase my supply for some reason so um i haven't been supplementing anymore just because i feel like i have enough and also the lactation consultant told me to take three fenugreek pills three times a day so those are nine giant fenugreek pills those pills don't smell the best and they definitely are big pills but i i take them morning lunch and dinner um so i think it's actually helping i was taking this mother's milk tea but i just couldn't handle the taste i probably mentioned that in the previous video as well i just the taste was very bad i couldn't do it again so i'm glad that i can take the pill instead of the tea um what else is happening i still have my stretch marks i don't know if i mentioned this but um when i was pregnant i went to labor and delivery because i thought i had a blood clot in my leg but i actually have stretch marks on the back of my leg like it's um all over and they're really bright they're actually brighter than the ones on my stomach it really doesn't bother me but i notice that like when i'm walking around with like a shorter dress or shorts people will look just to see like oh what is that but it doesn't bother me at all like i don't know why it doesn't bother me i guess it doesn't because it's like i got it from having liam and like look i have my liam and that's all that matters to me um as far as weight loss i haven't lost any weight um i'm still the same weight and the thing with weight is you can't really rely on what you see on the scale you can kind of tell more on how your body shape looks because of course fat weighs less than muscle so if you're working out and you have more muscle mass you're definitely going to weigh more than you would compared to someone who doesn't work out and I'm the person who doesn't work out. So um, I definitely haven't worked out yet and it's been four months, but my doctor gave the green light for us to go running with Liam and we bought a new stroller. So we're gonna start going running as a family and hopefully that will help. And um, oh yeah, my stretch marks on my stomach are definitely still there and they don't look as dark purple like my leg stretch marks so that's pretty awesome but um it's okay no one's gonna see it but my husband so it doesn't bother me at all oh and i bought a one-piece swimsuit instead of a two-piece so i like it it's actually a cute swimsuit that i bought at target um what else you guys i feel like oh my goodness this is tmi but you guys know this is a tmi topic right here i feel as though my boobs have shrank like they're a lot smaller because i started pumping more and liam is probably drinking more but the first month of um of giving birth to liam my boobs were massive like i bought like double d bras and they couldn't even fit in those because of how 
engorged they they are and if you guys you know, know engorged breasts they hurt so bad so i'm glad that i'm pumping a lot now and that my boobs are back to a smaller size because i like i prefer having s smaller breasts than really big boobs for some reason i just like to have smaller boobs before i got pregnant i was like a size five and a half six for my shoes now i'm a size seven my feet have not shrank and i honestly don't think that they will shrink ever again um because it's been four months now and um a lot of people have told me your feet won't ever shrink like a lot of people in the comment section will tell me i've lost all the weight but my feet are still big so my feet might still be a size seven forever now and that sucks because i used to collect shoes i feel like when i was pregnant my skin was its best like i barely broke out but now towards the third and fourth month postpartum I'm starting to break out sometimes like around the chin area and the cheeks which is weird because I was really happy about like having fairly clear skin for a while um, but hopefully it's probably just the stress of all the traveling that I've been doing with my family but maybe after that a couple of weeks later or so my skin will clear up you guys asked to see the c-section incision it's just way too low in the bikini area like it is like really low so i don't want to show that but i will show you guys my stomach shot and show you guys um how it looks like i haven't been working out i mentioned so it doesn't look good at all it's just big saggy belly but you know this is real life and this is me it's very strange because even at four months i still feel pain where i got the c-section i don't know why i still feel the pain i would think that it would go away it's it's not in um like an inner pain it's more like where the skin is at so i have no idea but when i go to my doctor i'm gonna definitely mention that to him um but that's it not much has changed and i probably won't be doing these postpartum updates every month just because i feel like things have slowed down and nothing has changed but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want, I have a daily vlog channel. It's called April Justin TV where you guys can see my family and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey friends, it's been about six weeks since I gave birth to my son and I wanted to review the Belly Bandit because I bought the Belly Bandit hoping that it would help shrink my stomach and it really did. So I wanted to kind of talk about it and tell you all about it. So if you're not familiar